Kids Jump. I hope you're okay. Today I have a lovely story to share called Be My Friend. What do you think this story could be all about? Oh, there's some clues over here on the front. The be Outside in Poppy's garden, she could hear a funny sound. A buzzing sound, a whizzing sound, and a humming sound. Noise was whirling around. She saw a flash of stripes and knew it was a <gasps> bumblebee. Oh no, please help, squealed Poppy. It's going to sting me. Uh-oh, no! she's going to sting us about. She's getting very scared. Maybe it's going to sting her. Do you think it's going to sting her? Let's see. Poppy was so scared. She tried to run away and hide. But she quickly grabbed a jar and said and trapped the bee inside. <gasps> Let's see the bee. Oh, poor bee. Do you, you think he looks happy? No! I don't think he looks happy. With her magnifying glass, there so she's her magnifying glass, she peered inside the jar. Then her voice said, my name's Bernard and I've traveled very far. Oh, he has a name. His name is Bernard and he's traveled very far. Oh dear. Bernard's wings were tiny. He had black and yellow fuzz. I used to live with lots of friends, he told her with a buzz. My colony all flew away and now I'm on my own. I'm trying to find somewhere safe that I can call my home. Oh, poor little bee. Oh dear. And that's for sale. And all his friends are flown away. Oh dear. We bees all do so much to help. Without us, not much grows. We can help make through the food you eat and even help make clothes. Ah! They're so busy, aren't they? Look at that one with sunglasses on. We fly pollen between flowers on days when it is sunny and work hard in our golden hives to make you taste the tasty honey. Oh, yes they do, don't they? I love honey. There are lots of scary things, he said, that threaten what we do. A world without us bees won't be the same for all of you. Poppy was amazed, she said, for someone that's so small, you, have, you and your great bee friends do so much to help us all. That's so correct, isn't it? We wouldn't, what would we do without our poor bees? Bernard smiled at Poppy, but he didn't feel his best. His wings dropped as he yawned and said, I need a nice long rest. He's going to go to sleep in the morning. Then Bernard asked them for water because it would make him strong. These aren't all that scary, Poppy thought. I was wrong. Oh, look. He's gone to sleep and Poppy's giving him some water. Oh, that's lovely. She's looking after him now. As soon as he felt better, Bernard had to go away. I have to find my colony, but I'll be back one day. Thank you, Bernard called as he flew off into the night. Right then, Poppy knew she had to help to put things right. He's going away and she's very sad because she misses him now. Oh dear. So Poppy asked her granddad if he'd help her plant some flowers. They put out water, but a hive, built a hive and worked outside for hours. Look what they're doing over here. That's good. Then one sunny afternoon, she heard a buzzing sound. What do you think it could be? Bernard and his fuzzy friends were flying all around. There we go. Look, they come back. Bernard, shouted Poppy. She couldn't believe her eyes. You did come back, she whispered. What a special surprise. Oh, hugging. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Your garden is just perfect for us, he said with a smile. 
and all the bees agreed that they would love to stay a while. Oh, look, they're all buzzing around in the garden, and there's some water there for them to have their break. Oh, that's lovely. Poppy threw a party so her friends could be all learn to. Wow, they said amazed. We want to help bees just like you. Oh, that's nice. Look, that all the friends are over and they've got some bee um, antlers under there. Thanks to you, Buzz Bernard, now we have a happy end. Poppy, you're the best and I will all and I will always be your friend. Oh, that's nice. That little friend. That's a lovely story. Oh, look, they're friends. She's reading a book, Poppy is, and Bernard's listening to her story. That's a really nice story. I hope you enjoyed this story. Take care. Bye.